Hey everyone, this is Betsy from Prosperworks, and in this video we're going to quickly go through a demo of Prosperworks and just talk about how you can add contacts, track sales opportunities, and project revenue in just about the next 10 minutes. So we're going to get started here in Gmail because if you're like me, I spend a lot of my day-to-day -day here in Gmail sending emails, scheduling meetings, and what we've done is design Prosperworks to really allow you to just easily update your CRM all from within Gmail, not ever needing to leave your inbox. So Prosperworks sits in the Chrome extension over here, right on the side of Gmail. You see all the contacts that I already have in the system. We make it really easy for you to add contacts directly from Gmail right into Prosperworks. So I'm gonna hover over Brian right here. Brian's someone I've been having a conversation with about doing a website redesign. I'm a design agency and Brian's inquiring about my business. So just by hovering over his name, Prosperworks is telling me that Brian's not already a part of the system. So I can go over here, click add, and Brian will be easily added as a contact. So what Prosperworks is going to do from there is ask if I want to create a sales opportunity for Brian. So a sales opportunity really just represents a potential transaction for your business. And if we go in and look at this email going back and forth with Brian, we see he's interested in a website redesign. I know this normally costs around $10,000 for me to do. And what that's going to do is just attach that dollar amount to Brian that he's potentially worth $10,000. So I'm going to create a sales opportunity. I'm going to label this Brian Webry design. Contact Brian Crushing. It's going to be a part of my sales pipeline. You can create multiple pipelines, which we'll talk about in a little bit if you work with partnerships and you also sell. We're going to leave him at the qualified stage for now. You can define these stages as you're on your own, depending on what your business process is. Right now, we haven't done any research on his company, so we'll leave him at qualified. You can also add a value. So I'm going to say this is worth $10,000 and just go ahead and click add. So just like that, we've added Brian as a contact into the system and created a sales opportunity for him. If you remember when we add that contact, all we did is click add person. We didn't do any additional data entry. And what Prosperworks has done is added all of this data on my behalf. You can see his title, that his email is listed here, any phone numbers associated with him. And what we've done is actually gone in, crawled Brian's email signature and pulled any relevant information in put that directly into Prosperworks. So it takes a lot of the work out of your day in putting that data. You can also look at any recent activity I've had with Brian. So you can see the emails that we've had going back and forth and I can just choose to log a call with him directly from Prosperworks. So left him a voicemail, click save. And I can see any of the related items I have with Brian as well. So here's that sales opportunity we added in for him. Right from the Chrome extension as well, I can create a task to follow up with Brian. So I don't wanna to forget to email him again. I'm just gonna type follow up. I'm gonna to choose to do this just a few days from now. I can assign this to a team member if I want, but I'm just gonna leave it on me for now and go ahead and hit save. So the really great thing about Prosperworks is we have this integration with Google Apps. It's not just Gmail, but it's also Google Calendar, Google Drive, Google Hangouts. So now that I've added that task, if I actually go into my calendar here and open this up, you can see that Prosperworks is gonna add a task for me to follow up with Brian two days from now for when I've scheduled it. My calendar is going to remind me of that. So really what we do is just help you never forget to follow up with an opportunity or a contact. All right, let's exit out of here. So the Chrome extension is really, really great for you know helping you add in contacts, easily add in sales opportunities. But when you wanna kind of have a deeper look at your sales pipeline, view team activity, you can go into the web application and get a more expanded view of that. So let's go ahead and click on this opportunity here. We can see Brian's web redesign listed here and I'm gonna click this little icon, open in web, and now we've opened the Prosperworks web app. So this is what the web application looks like and we're looking at that opportunity that we created for Brian. You can see any of the information about the opportunity on the side, all the activity that's gone around the opportunity in the middle, anything related. So we see Brian's a related person, his company is listed here. I can choose to add in files, so if we get you know, along the line with Brian and we eventually get to the phase where he wants to sign with us, we might want to add a contract in. You can just choose to link directly from Google Drive and select a file from there. Upload that to the opportunity so my team can see it. And additionally, if we have any meetings going on, we can schedule those directly from Prosperworks. So I'm just going to go ahead and click Add. It's going to take me to my Google Calendar. Got a meeting going on with Brian. Uh, we can rename this something, so meeting web redesign, it's gonna automatically add in his email and I can just choose to send him that calendar invite. So really simple to integrate with all of your existing Google apps. All right, let's go ahead and exit out of here for now. Great, so that's what Brian's opportunity looks like. And when we actually get into tracking these opportunities, we actually go into our sales pipeline. So I'm gonna click here 
and we can see the opportunity that we added for Brian through the Chrome extension is going to appear right here in the qualified stage where we added it in. So you can go ahead and define these stages based on what your business process is. I'm a design agency, typically we'll get someone telling us they're interested, we'll meet with them, do a little bit of research about their company and then actually start designing what they want to buy from us. So that's my sales process. You can go in and customize your own just in the pipeline customization settings here. Actually go in and update these, hit save, it'll update automatically and you can track things according to your business process. We'll just cancel for now. All right, so as we continue to talk with Brian, perhaps we meet with him, we begin to do some research on his company, we wanna track where he stands within that business process. So I'm just gonna grab this opportunity drag it over to the research column here, drop it down, and now we know that this is where Brian stands along the lines of doing business. Eventually he says, all right, I want you to design these custom mocks for me, and I'm just gonna move them to the next stage. So it's very simple to track where that opportunity sits within your pipeline. Another great thing about this view, if you see these little indicators right here, this is telling you that you have a task designated to the opportunity. So if we have a little indicator that looks gray like this, it's telling me, great, I've assigned a task to the opportunity. Yellow is gonna inform me that I have a task upcoming very soon. And red's telling me I have a task that's overdue that I missed. So if I click here, you can see that I have a call that's two, week, two weeks late and I should follow, follow up with that opportunity. If we have nothing, we can just go ahead and click here add task and make sure we get a task scheduled for every opportunity so we don't forget to follow up. So the pipeline view is really great for understanding where those opportunities sit. When Brian eventually decides, great, we wanna buy with you guys, I can just grab this opportunity, drag it down to the one folder and Prosperworks is gonna ask me if I wanna turn Brian into a current customer. I'm gonna say yes, go ahead and hit save and Prosperworks is going to track that for me. So like I mentioned before, you can set up multiple pipelines. Right now we're looking at the sales pipeline. I can toggle to a business development pipeline if I've set that up as well, and you can track those opportunities separately. It's really up to you how you develop this process. All right, so we've learned how to track opportunities through the pipeline, and one more thing I wanna bring up on this view is the pipeline progression report. So this is a really great tool to be able to realize, you know, how long have my opportunities been sitting at a certain stage? Are any of them static? Which ones do I need to follow up with? So what this view does is it helps you realize how long, you know, how far your opportunities have traveled within a certain time frame. So for me, I'm gonna use our filters over here. This is a really handy tool. I'm gonna look at all of my open opportunities that have been added, let's say within the last month. And I'm gonna click apply. So any open opportunities I added within the last month. I'm gonna scroll down. These little carrots right here tell us how far that opportunity has traveled in my pipeline within the last month. Let's scroll down a bit. We can see here we have some traveling from the qualified to the research in the last month. One actually traveled backwards, so we did design, now we have to go back to research. Then I see this block hours web design opportunity here. It's been sitting in the research phase for an entire month without moving in either direction. Obviously we want that to move forward, but here it's just been sitting for a month, so it might be good for me to follow up with that opportunity as soon as I can. That's what the pipeline progression report is really great at telling you. So we've looked at the progression before, We've looked at the pipeline and this really gives you great insight into kind of the micro view of your opportunities, looking at them at an individual level. And the tool that's really great for looking at kind of the more macro level of those opportunities, understand, understand like those fundamental sales questions that everyone has about their business, we can use reports for that. So it's found in the tab over here. So you have a lot of different options with reports as to what you wanna look at. Right now we're looking at an overall pipeline summary. So you know, how much revenue are we gonna be making based on those open opportunities? I can break this down by assignee. So if I go and I have multiple people at my business, I can see how much is in my pipeline versus my colleague Caroline's pipeline. I can also look at a history of my sales. So going in and seeing, you know, which opportunities we've won and how much that's been worth, which ones we've lost and how many open opportunities we have as well the total value of all those opportunities. So reports are a really great way to just give you some additional insight into your business. All right, so now we're just gonna wrap up on the dashboard here. We've gone over you know, tasks, being able to assign those, opportunities, reports, and all of that activity you have going on within Prosperworks. And you can see all of that listed here in one nice dashboard. Right now I'm looking at my company as a whole, so me and my colleague Caroline. If I wanna just look at my own Prosperworks, all of the opportunities I have, all the tasks I have, you can easily toggle back and forth between those items, nice and simple. So that's a quick overview of Prosperworks. You've learned how to add in contacts, add tasks so you never forget to follow up, create and track sales opportunities just to help you earn more revenue more quickly. 
So if you have any questions on customization setup or anything we went over today, please feel free to reach out to support at prosperworks.com.